Hello everybody, this is Jonathan and in this video I'm going to be installing Foy Linux. Foy Linux is an independent um, Linux distro that is not based off anything, for example not based on Arch, not based off Gentoo, not based off Ubuntu or Debian. So in this video I'm going to be installing Foy Linux for my very first time and the install isn't that hard either. So let me go ahead and just click on the standout page over there. And now I should be able to take to XFC. For base, we'll just take you to the um, to the terminal install. We want to have a graphical user interface, so just select the XFCE, and that should start downloading the ISO image. Okay, so I'm going to start this VM, um, which I have created in my photo box. Um, let me just click on the start button to boot up to my photo box. Okay, cool. I'm going to select Foy Linux by pressing on the Enter key, and it should start booting up. Okay, so it looks like that's now buddied up. I'm going to go ahead and open up the terminal. Once the terminal is um, entered, what you guys can now do is type down su because you can have to log in as a root user. Now put down the password as void Linux. Um, that is the password. Now press on the enter key. Okay, so now what you need to do now is do void installer. Press on the enter key. Press on enter key again. Let's set up our keyboard. So I'm just going to um, just type U, so it's easier for me to find my keyboard out, which is UK. I now can set up my network. Okay, network is working. Now I can go and set source installation. Let's do local, so that way we'll be able to get the desktop environment. Um, we guys can use network, but that will only install the base system. So make sure um, we'll do set local, so we can install the um, graphical user interface. It's easier to actually do stuff. Now I go ahead to mirror. Okay, and just select your country, or select a country that's nearby. So for example, I'm going to select Denmark, press on the enter key, yes, and that should set up the mirror. Okay. Now let's go ahead and set for system host name. So I'm going to call this one Void Linux. Press on the enter key. Let's set up for local. And I'm just going to type down E for English. And I will select English. Great brand, press on the enter key. Now let's go ahead and set up for time zone. So let me click on to Europe and I will now go and select um, London, isn't it? Um, let me select London, press on to OK. And now we can set up a root password. So the root password has to be very complicated. But as I'm doing this inside of VM, I'm just going to set up like a really simple password. So I'm going to press on the enter key. I can enter again and that should have. Um, set up our root password so, so that now let's go ahead and create a user so now we can give him a name or give him a username so I'm just going to call it Jonathan and we can display a name for login Jonathan I'm just going to call this one Jonathan that's his name and now we can set the password I set up a very simple one but if we're doing this on real machine make sure it's a really complex password now best on the enter key to say okay and we have to type down the password again Press on okay um, we can now press on to OK. Um, OK, cool. So now let's go and um, set disk to install bootloader. We need to go and partition our disk. So select partition and now select which drive you want to partition. I'll just select this one. And I'll be using CF disk because it's very easy to use. OK, I'm going to use DOS. Let's go and create a new partition and I'll give this one around maybe four gigabytes. And we can make this primary and we can change the type of this one to um, let's make this one into a swap partition. Linux swap, here it is. And now I'll create a new one, and for the rest of the storage will be for Linux file system. So I can change the type for that one and I will select Linux. And I'll click onto the option that says um, write. 
press on the enter key and now just type down yes and that should allow us to um, to write that new petition to the disk now press on the enter key that is looking good now let's go and quit out the program and now we can go ahead and um, set disk to install bootloader let's go and install it on this one use a graphical terminal for the bootloader yes okay cool petition disk we did that now we can go and do file systems configure file systems amount point okay so this one has the lowest amount of space so that one will be the um, swap petition right yes and this one will be the um, Linux EST4 journal that's on the enter key and then we have to um, just put down the root directory for the mount point. Now that's on the enter key. Do you want to create a new file system on dev SDA2? Yes. Okay, cool. So that's looking much better. Now I'll select done. Okay, cool. So now what we should be able to do now is start installation with save settings. So now if I go ahead and start installing it, it should now allow me to install it. It's now it's going to um, warn, give you a warning that um, if you do confirm, then it would delete all of your data. So do backup before we do um, this installation. Now press on the enter key and it should now start installing. I'll be back once it's done. Okay, so it looks like it has been installed. What I'm going to do right now, I'm going to select no. And I will go and um, power from the system. I'll go to settings, I'll go into storage, I'm going to get rid of this um, ISO image, um, which I do believe I don't have anymore. If I just press onto this remove, now if I select OK, and now if I start up the VM, and hopefully it does boot up. Yes it does, so now it can boot up to Floyd Linux. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? Now we're going to have to enter a password, 123. It looks like it's using LightDM, um, which is pretty nice. I like LightDM. LightDM is pretty good. Now press on the Enter key, and that should log in to the XFCE desktop environment. So that's my first time ever installing Foy Linux. Um, it was very easy to install. I should now be able to connect to the internet, right? If I do ping www.google.com, do I get Indian Network? Yes, I do. That is looking amazing. Can I do nail fetch? Nail fetch command is not found. So for the next video, I'm going to show you guys how to update the system, how to install packages, and how to uninstall packages with their package manager. But this video was about installing the operating system, um, really. Anyway, guys, if you like this video, please put a like and please subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.